We're inside InterNACHI's free online course, How to Perform Deck Inspections, and we're at the guards and supports. A guard is nothing more than a barrier to stop human beings from falling off an elevated walking surface like a deck. It doesn't require any type of rail or graspable feature. The word guard should be used to describe that type of barrier, and the illustration here is a barrier, and we call it a guard. Guards should be supported by posts every six feet or so, and you can see that this guard doesn't even have corner posts. Handrail. A handrail requires a graspable rail, and that's what a handrail is. It's a graspable thing. A guard is different. A guard is a barrier. A handrail is a graspable thing. The code standards split the two. We used to call it guardrails, but now code recognizes those two things are different, guard and handrail. They're installed, the handrail is installed next to certain stairs and ramps, and sometimes they're built into the top of a guard. So there's the guard, a barrier to prevent us from falling off the deck, and a handrail, something that you grasp. Let's talk about guard load connected to joists. Where guards are supported on deck framing, guard loads must be transferred to the deck framing with a continuous load path to the deck joists. The guard is connected to the joists. The guard must connect to the floor joists, not just the outer rim or band joist. Where guards are connected to the interior or exterior side of a deck joist or beam, the joist or beam shall be connected to the adjacent joists to prevent rotation of the joist or beam. If the guard is connected along the exterior joist, it must be connected to an, exterior, an adjacent joist. Otherwise, this single joist connection will rotate and won't support the guard above adequately. Connections relying on fasteners is not permitted either. Where guards are mounted on top of decking, the guards must be connected to the deck framing or blocking and installed in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations to transfer the guard loads to the adjacent joists. The guard must connect to the framing or blocking to transfer the guard load to the adjacent joists. Notched posts. Where a 4x4, 102 millimeter by 102 millimeter, wood posts support guard loads applied to the top of the guard, these posts must be not notched. They must not be notched at the connection to the supporting structure. For wooden posts at deck guards, the post must not be notched at the connection to the deck structure. This illustration here shows a notched guard post attachment, and this is not permitted. This common notch type of attachment was permitted in older codes. It is no longer permitted. Notched posts are a defect. The building standard changed in 2021, referred to 2021 IRC R50710. Notched guard post attachments could become loose and unsafe, especially as the deck ages. The code specifically prohibits notched 4x4 guard posts at the connection point, which historically have been attached to rim joists or beams with, with anything from lag screws to nails, this connection here. Code now requires that that connection extend back into the framing in some manner to prevent a guard from pulling off a rim or pulling the rim off the ends of the joists from a single rotation. Loads and forces in certain directions. While a graspable, graspable stair handrail is meant to support us and must resist forces in all directions, guards don't. Guards that wrap around a deck are only meant to keep us from falling off the edge of the deck. According to the 2021 IRC code, guards will no longer be required to resist forces pulling inward or upward, just down and out. Leaning on or sitting on top of a guard is common on a deck, so a guard must be able to support that load. Guard and handrail design loads are separate and they're different. The load design for guards and handrails is also different. There is also a difference between uniform and concentrated loads. The recent code 2021 table R301.5 recognizes the differences between guards and handrails. They're different and code separates them from each other and provides a separate column for concentrated loads. The concentrated load direction for guards and handrails in the 2021 IRC code 
before the, the 2021 IRC code was in, quote, unquote, all directions. Now the new code changed the loading direction for guards to only downward and outward. Guards, a concentrated load of 200 PSF pounds per square foot, downward and outward. If the top of a guard is not serving as a required handrail, the single concentrated load could be applied at any point along the top in the vertically downward direction and in the horizontally outward direction away from the deck walking surface. Where the top of the guard is serving as the handrail, a single concentrated load could be applied in any direction at the, along the top. So inspectors, when you see something graspable, a handrail, required handrail, that's in all directions. Wiggle it in all directions. While handrails are graspable and can be pulled in any direction, a guard is not required to be pulled or pushed in any direction, just down and out. A guard has no reason, really, to resist a fall backward or inward into the deck or to resist a load placed in line or upward. The course has many illustrations of brackets and connections, and this is a bracket of a guard post connected to an adjacent joist. There's a few illustrations of guards and openings and heights. This guard here in the illustration is a hazard because it allows the passage of a four inch sphere through the opening between the guard spindles. This illustration here is also a hazard because it's climbable for a child. And that's inside the DEX course about guards, handrails, and supports.